Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. When you hear a fire truck in the distance, is the first thing you think of, hey, I wonder if they finished the remodel on station two, or perhaps if the fire engine is new or not. Well, City of Cape Girardeau Fire Inspector Ivan Legrand can tell you. Thanks for joining us, Legrand. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here today. So you have had quite a busy year in the department this year, particularly with regard to facilities, um, some remodel models, um, an annex. So talk to us about, we'll, we'll start with uh, station number two because that's had a lot of work done. So what were the deficiencies of the property and how are they changing? Well, with station two, uh, we've added so much equipment and other, other specialties that it, the station's crowded and we have a mechanics bay that's taken up a, a bay out there and uh, he'll have to pull trucks out to work on our, our apparatus and in the rain and everything. So uh, we decided to build an annex for him. Um, he'll have two bays to, uh, large enough to work on our ladder truck and our, our other engines. And uh, there's two of them, so he can work on one while the other one's waiting, uh, waiting on parts or, or however, whatever, whatever needs to be done. Plus it's large enough that we'll have storage. We have a specialty trailers uh, and other equipment that, that we've outgrown different places that we, we need a place to store it and, and, and have it centrally lo located. Um, along with the annex, uh, we'll have a workout room for the, the firefighters uh, where instead of going all over town, uh, different places with the parks department, which is, you know, Osage or, or, or Shawnee, which is great, we'll, we'll have our own workout center there there with uh, Station 2. Um, and where is Station 2 located? Station 2 is at uh, 378 South Mount Auburn. Uh, 378 with South Mount Auburn. And I'm, I know that local citizens are invited to come by and see the improvements that are, are being made. And um, I'm guessing that you'll have like a, some sort of a grand opening or oh, something. Oh, sure, we'll have, we'll have an open house. Um, and, and we welcome visitors anytime they want to stop by. We'll have them all the time. Um, but with, with the annex, you know, that will get the free up a bay in the, in the station. Uh, we'll have storage and also the workout room. And then in the station two, uh, it's a little dated, so we're going to update the uh, sl uh, living quarters with a uh, separate, uh, separate, uh, rest uh, separate uh, bunk rooms mm -hmm. with uh, showers and, and, and restrooms. Also, we'll remodel the kitchen. Uh, the way it was laid out, when it was built, is not working today. Uh, so we're, we're remodeling the kitchen, and also the uh, the mechanic's office since he's leaving. Uh, we'll remodel that that room to have a uh, turnout gear, uh, storage, and and, and be able to clean, <coughs> clean the gear in, in our, our other uh, wash, uh, washer and dryer. Okay, so um, beyond station number two, and, and people can see the photographs of not only the stations, but also, what did you call it? Not equipment, you call it your, the trucks, and there's a different name for it. You, that you call the the fire trucks and your equipment. You the, the specialty equipment. The yeah, yeah. You had an, a, a different word for it. We'll think of it in a minute. Okay, but anyway, right. so uh, you can see all of that on the city of Cape Girardeau.org's website. And so I was going back through and looking, and Fire Station Four. You're actually building. Uh, the department's building a new fire station. Is that right? Yes. And why is that? Well, the original station was built in 1974, and uh, in 1974, our city limits were, were a lot closer to it. And since over the time, we've annexed more and more towards the interstate and, and north of the interstate, so we, we decided to expand. And, and the trucks are getting bigger also. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the last station that we actually have to back in instead of pull through bays. And so, so for safety and, and for a better location, they're, they're moving it to uh, Abbey and Lexington. Okay. We've got the, the, they purchased the property several years ago. Uh, they br did a uh, groundbreaking for it, and now they're they're doing some groundwork to, to prepare for the the, the start of the constru construction. And um, it'll be a three bay uh, station. Uh, the front of it will look a lot like the the station three on North Sprig, and um, it'll still have the three man crew with a uh, rescue four and the reserve apparatus um, in case the rescue four goes down for any reason, and then uh, other storage for other uh, vehicles or trucks that or whatever gets moved up there. Apparatus, that was the okay. word I was looking for. It was apparatus because that's something else that's also coming into play are the new apparatus that the department is being is able to be purchased, purchasing. Yes, and uh, with, with 
we last purchased our, our new trucks, uh, well, they were new in 2003. Uh, NFPA says that uh, they should run first out for 10 years and then be put on, on a, a reserve status. And then after 10 years, they'll be rotated out of the fleet. And that's, you know, city departments that, that have the budgets to do that. Volunteer departments will run their trucks longer because, uh, just because of the money restraints. Mm -hmm. um, so we la last purchased all our, our fleet, uh, three engines, a rescue pumper, and a ladder. Uh, in around 2003, and now it's time to replace them. And we're buying, uh, again, three engines, a rescue truck, rescue pumper, that's rescue four. It, it's an engine, it'll fight fire, but it's also a specialty vehicle <coughs> to carry a lot of um, uh, rescue equipment for different aspects that we look at. Uh, high angle rope, uh, trench collapse, uh, 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 milling collapse. So it's a first in truck, carries more equipment. And then also a uh, rescue, heavy rescue truck. We're, we're buying to replace a, a, a um, beverage truck we, we were using. And, um, and we had the money left over for it. And also, um, uh, we're also buying a, a new airport truck in, con in uh, conjunction with the uh, FAA. Uh, ours is, again, over, overdue to be replaced and they pay a portion of the, the, the fees. Um, the company we went with is Rosenbauer. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at several trucks and, and sound specs and they, um, they won the bid, so they're, they're, they're building the whole fleet. Well, it's nice to know exactly where those tax dollars are going, not only for the facilities, but also for the apparatus that you use. Well, we want to thank you, uh, in Fire Inspector Legrand, for coming by to chat with us. All really great information, and you can find out more about the fire department that serves you at cityofcapegirardeau.org. Thanks again for coming by.